Yeah. Good to go. Alright, uh, I'm Ken Caldwell, Steve Fuerte. We decided to build a, a, a poor man's laser harp. <laughs> so usually in a laser harp you have uh, five beautiful laser beams shining on sensors and you can block them with your hands and get a signal. So instead of doing that, we just threw uh, an infrared LED flashlight here. We have sensors that pick them up and uh, the microcontroller knows when we block the sensor. And it plays a note. Uh, it plays them through direct digital synthesis and it adds four together polyphonically. We can also choose the waveform too. So this is kind of this is a Gaussian that I threw together for the, the direct digital synthesis. You can take a look at uh, the waveform here, and you'll see how they change. So that's the Gaussian clearly. This sine is sine wave. Sine wave. Smoother. Square wave. Square wave. You can see the filtering that we've done. Triangle. And sawtooth. Sawtooth. Yep. Okay, so let's do the Gaussian. I think we're back on it. Yeah, yep. that's Gaussian. Okay, now go go for the sine wave. Like a <laughs> I'm not quite an expert at playing this yet. We just built it yesterday. But you can really see how you can get a lot more sensitive if you go out on the arc, whereas down here you just can play the entire chord itself. Or individual notes when you get up closer to the wood. Right. Like that. So I imagine that after a few more months I would really be an expert. we came up with was um, the sensitivity of these these guys. It really depends on the time of day and how it's how it is outside. We we um, first tuned them with uh, just a voltage divider with resistors <coughs> um, when it was uh, very late at night, and then we came in the next day and the uh, we couldn't find a way to pluck the strings. Um, the the light emitters were coming up with too much from actually outside. We were over there by the, by the bench by the window. So what we did is we added these tuners. So as you would a normal instrument, uh, depending on the type of day and the uh, light that you have, you're going to have to tune um, via these trim pots, these variable resistors, um, to find the right voltage level to actually get a pluck like this. Or else you might either have um, a constant plucking if that's if the, the the sensor isn't coming up with enough light, or um, impossible to pluck if there's too much uh, infrared hitting it. They work on <coughs> the the peak of these. Uh, uh, these photodiodes is at 950 nanometers. Um, it picks up other light too, but um, it gives a pretty uh, high drop off past around 900 and 1,000 nanometer wavelength. Okay, play it one last time, please. You're probably getting better. Sure. <laughs> sure. Put on something sharp though, so you can use it. Saucy thing. Yeah, one, okay.